Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time visitor to my channel, welcome. I would love to have you back. So if you would consider hitting that subscribe button down below and dinging the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video, I would really appreciate it. The subject of today's video is a fun one. It's always a fun one on YouTube anytime I see them or perhaps anytime you may see them as well. It is an unboxing video and specifically an unboxing from Fashion File. So you're curious what's in here? Stay tuned. So it's probably a bit of a spoiler alert for me to tell you what's in here before already unboxing it. but. The contents of this box are listed in the title anyway, so I don't feel quite as bad. Um, I ended up purchasing a Louis Vuitton compact origami wallet. It's a wallet that I've had uh, casually on my radar, not something I was actively seeking out, but figured if and when I found one that was at a good price point and in good condition, I might snap it up and see if I like it. And lo and behold, it came up not too long ago, so I decided to order it and uh, see how I like it and whether or not it's going to end up remaining a permanent piece to my collection. The reason I opted for the resale route, aside from the obvious uh, money saving aspect, this item is actually a discontinued piece by Louis Vuitton. So you can't go into the store anymore and buy it and you have to strictly look for it on the resale market. And obviously as time goes on, it becomes more and more difficult to find this piece in good shape. This one was advertised by Fashion File as being in excellent condition. The only thing I saw online was a small mark on the front of the wallet that looked to be not a big deal in my opinion. So I decided to grab it, see it in person, and obviously make that decision for myself when I have it in my hands like I do right now. I have not peeked in here at all. All I did was cut it open so that I could save us the time of getting into the box on camera. So we will be seeing this piece together for the first time. As always with Fashion File, they include a lovely nail file with their name on it like so. Put this over here. And of course they always include confetti because it's an exciting moment. And if you're familiar with Fashion File and are subscribed to their emails and things like that, you will know that they've partnered with Neiman Marcus. So now they're apparently starting to advertise that in their packaging. Not to talk about it too, too much, but apparently they're going to have bays at Neiman Marcus where you could drop off bags that you decide to consign or have Fashion File buy out directly. Um, so there are supposed to be a number of perks affiliated with it. I guess we will find out as time goes on, but this is a relatively new uh, partnership that was announced. So we'll be learning as, as time goes on. And we've got the little envelope here. Pop it open. got the receipt for the item I purchased. Certified fashion file. This just basically guarantees that the piece you're buying is authentic and is protected by their authenticity guarantee. If at any time in life it is determined that it was a fake piece, they've got your back and will obviously reimburse you the money. We want this bag back, or in this case, wallet. It's always fun to get pieces from them. It's like Christmas. Got this here. Yep. Another pull for this uh, wallet for me was the fact that the chatter about this wallet on the resale market was the fact that it obviously is compact but can hold a lot. And if you have seen my previous videos, you know I do love a large wallet. I have the Kate Spade Lacey wallet. That's my go-to. I'll link that video down below because I did do a review of it. And a lot of people talk about how great this wallet is, that it's small but can hold so much. So I'm certainly open and receptive to adding a wallet to my collection that can hold close to what a larger wallet can with less space. So that was another pull in my wanting to get this wallet in my hands and see if it'll work for me, as well as the interior. In my opinion, the interior is very unique for any wallet really, and specifically for Louis Vuitton. You'll see once I once I crack into it right here. Let's not let's not delay very much longer and just get into it. Got the little box here. It says used is the new new. Comes in the Louis Vuitton. 
Tom box. This is their older style box. The new one now is uh, orangey yellow color. And this is the barcode that Fashion File has for this particular piece. Um, I tried to do a little bit of research just to kind of give you guys some information. I think this wallet was discontinued back in 2012. If anyone knows for sure, or if that is incorrect research on my end, that's what I was able to find. Do let me know in the comments down below so that obviously I can be a little more knowledgeable about this particular piece. And again, as far as the research goes, it retailed for $490 back when it was for sale through Louis Vuitton. So let's crack in here, open this box. So they put it in a little fashion file dust bag, but the listing did state that it had its own dust bag and there it is right in the bottom of the box and they've also got here again their little tag with the certificate of authenticity and this is interesting because it says remove the tag and own the bag however as you've seen on the video right now they were never attached to begin with so i guess fingers crossed that i love it and it's a it's a keeper i suspect it will be but we shall see Okay, now here is here is the exciting part. I haven't I'm feeling it, but I haven't seen it yet. I haven't laid eyes on it. We're about to see it together. Da, 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 da. Okay, you're actually looking at it before me. I haven't seen the front. So, like I said, this is the Louis Vuitton Compact Origami Wallet. See, this was the mark that they said was on the front. I'll look at it obviously in once I flip it around and, and give it a better look. But that was the one mark that they stated online. And like I said, it didn't seem like a big deal to me. So I figured, you know what, let's get it home and, and make that decision in person. Like I said, it's not available in stores with time. It's becoming increasingly more difficult to find it in good condition. This was listed as excellent. Another concern of mine was possibly the glazing. That was something I've seen with this particular wallet, the ones I've seen on the resale market, they've had a lot of wear and tear on that glazing. This one looked to have none of that. And as I look at it while I show you the other side, on a quick glance, it looks to be great. The button, let's see if we can zoom it in up close, probably not. I have yet to invest in a super high-tech camera, but you can see the button doesn't really have any scratches at all, maybe just a couple, but you know, nothing, nothing to, to deem it problematic. It's got this one little open compartment in the back. And now you will see the interior, that interior that I told you is I think very fun and unique. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I love it. Looking at it on camera and I'm like enjoying it so much just looking at it right now. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love this. It's so unique. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that fun? Tell me that's not fun. So much fun. So it's my understanding. One, two, three. Yep. It has it holds four cards here and four cards here. So eight cards total in this little itty bitty wallet. And then it's got the bill compartment back here. So you can slide the bills right there. And then actually I didn't mention or show in the front. This is the coin compartment. And this is where you've got the Louis Vuitton made in France. Hopefully that is focusing for you guys to see that. And I think this is probably, I don't know where they have the date stamp in here. Maybe not right there. Let's see. It's probably in here, maybe somewhere in here. I saw it online. Found it. It's right in here. Gosh, they hide that sucker pretty well, don't they? It's right in there. You see, it's just right there. That's the date code. Well done. Well done, Louis. Hide that pretty well. And also in here, before I forget, we've got the little textile card that says coated fabric. And it also has the original barcode from Louis Vuitton. If you can see if it'll focus, it says Louis Vuitton on the little snap there as well. Beautiful soft leather. This is for sure an excellent condition as they stated. It is beautiful. And look how lovely that is, the, the floral print right there, how it lines up so nicely. This is a special piece. I think this is gonna end up being a keeper.
Does anyone out there have this? Do you guys love it? Did you have it and then sell it? If so, why? I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've ever had this wallet or if you still do and it's your workhorse. Hit me up in the comments below and let me know. But I am really loving the look of this. I think this is a really special piece. I think this is gonna be a keeper in my collection. Thank you so much for joining me on this very special, very fun, very little, very compact unboxing. And if you did, of course, like this video, please give it that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. See you next time. Bye-bye.